Yeah. Where did I put the keys to this motherfucking thing? I am back. I took a I took a breather for about an hour. I took a couple more minutes to uh you know prep myself to come back to streaming. Uh, I'm going to be doing this for about two more hours. I stopped in the middle of a mission. Uh, I currently have control of Divine Beast Va Rudania. Rudania. R Rhubarb Pie. Um, as you can see, it has quite a few hearts. I can't even count that high. It's about 30. Uh, and it's got a lot of cool moves, apparently. And it's got a special attack, just like the normal people. Oh, okay, wait. How do I... Okay. Time to run wild, Varudania! That is, er, um, if I could figure out how you work. Okay. Uh, okay, why is that happening? Why does it keep snapping back? Okay, there we go. So I could shoot lava bombs. Magma rain. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that has a recharge. Lava bomb does not. Trample is a cutscene type attack. Counter. Okay, so you prep for counter attack. Oh, look at this. It's just a straight path. Oh, you saw that stupid Avengers, uh, ad. I've seen that before. That game is, uh, not that good, apparently. Also, hey, Sultan. Welcome to, welcome to me just becoming God and destroying everything. That's not helping. Some floaty guys, too. Let's send them flying along with the rest. One of the true of anger at the Avengers game is the eighth of the ace, the voice casting. Kate Bishop wanted Kate more attention. They chose Ashley Birch to voice her. But it's in the shitty life service title. Oh, yeah. So, okay, it's a good casting, but not great game. I'm stuck here forever if I pick them off one by one. Eh, no, you don't. Destroy that. I really want to do... whatever. She's the female Hawkeye. I probably should turn motion controls off for this. Uh, in fact, can I do that right now? Motion control aiming. They don't have motion control. Uh, I want it for normal gameplay, but not this. Because they asked me specifically for this one if I wanted it on.
Also, the inverted camera control doesn't work too good for this uh, moment. It's because uh, it's like not aiming... Because it's aiming first person, and when it aims first person, I prefer it not to be inverted. That's always been my weird, like, my weird thing. I, I'm, I'm good with inverted cameras if it's aimed from a third-person perspective. But once it goes first person, if it's still inverted, I'm, I, I constantly mess it up. Impa seems OP and Link seems sort of bland with little momentum in his attacks. He's the only character to get stepped from weapons. Yeah. I, I noticed that too. Every other character just gets the same weapon, but with different properties, whereas Link actually gets different ones. They all work the same, though, I think. I haven't tried the Lizzle Boomerang yet, so I might uh, give that a shot. Link actually... So, so two-handed weapon Link is a different character entirely than one-handed weapon Link. It's just, like, two different movesets entirely. At least that's what I'm led to believe. I haven't tried it yet. Also, why am I facing... Okay. Uh, speaking of uh, Hyrule Warriors, there's Revali himself playing uh, the game. Probably streaming it right now, actually. Okay, this is a little clunky, but it's okay. The only tweak Link gets is laser beams with full health and Master Sword. Got it. See, this feels weird. It feels weird holding right on the pad and, and shooting left. I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. Getting my shit rocked. Ah. This motion aiming's not very good. <laughs> Uh-oh. I like Impa and Mipha's movesets the most, from what you've seen. Uh, Impa's is pretty fun. Impa's is very unique. What am I doing? The, the motion control with the Divine Beast was causing some weird issues. I don't think so. I don't think there's any healing with the Divine Beast.
It's really safe now. I really fucked up. Okay, I am hitting them at least. One more down there. Tell if I'm hitting it. There we go. I really just saw the email notification for this stream. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what Twitch is doing. Also, I don't have my direct monitoring on, so I can't hear myself. That's why the game was so loud. Ugh. That thing's supposed to literally be a rock, so Link's just crunching down rocks. That is quite funny, actually. Um, it's funny because they they do say that Link that the the whole point, the whole joke with Link eating a lot in Breath of the Wild is actually directly lampshaded in that game uh, by with Zelda's diary, where she's like, "Oh, Link's such a glutton; he'll eat anything he gets his hands on." Uh, for the proof that Link is an eldritch pot smashing horror. Which of the women do I strike you like, strike you the most like? Um, it's a good question. I suppose, hmm. I don't know. There's only, f oh, probably, Ur probably Urbosa, honestly. I might get her next. Goron warrior who possesses the power to deflect attacks. He cares deeply for his fellow Gorons. Now he's entrusted with piloting Divine Beast Varudania. Goron stalwart. You know, not to put you on the spot or anything. Oh. Oh my god. What? Holy shit. What is this? Stop. Why is there so much? Needed researchers. The ancient tech lab is developing a sensor that detects materials... Yep, it's uh, playing Panzer Dragoon Remake. Oh, I feel so bad for him. That game is not good, apparently. But the lead researcher needs to hire more people, and for that, the lab needs more funds. Help them out. Gain use of Sheikah Sensor. Well, why not? We have the materials. With your help, the ancient tech lab hired staff and research is moving quickly. Despite the lab workers being so new, they've had a breakthrough with the Sheikah Sensor. If you press X while material objectives are displayed, like what quests or cooking recipes, you'll be able to track the required materials. You can also search for specific materials. So wait, like, something like this. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I could finally finish this, though. Stable Master's child was so happy with the insects that she ran up to her father with the bugs scooped in her hands. The birthday was a success, but the father may never be the same. South Akala Stable now available. But there isn't a merchant there now. Gotta have a sign. A young Goron has achieved his dreams and opened a shop, but he wants a sign that's special, like made with stones that are special. Any idea what he might need? Stone Peblet Trophy. Oh, okay, those are the tiny, uh... The tiny, uh... Ignatius, whatever they're called. Ethereal Stones. I have one. Or I have three. 
Using the rare stones you got, the Goron made a sign with the, for the name of his shop, Royo Royo Depot. That really fired him up about opening this place. Visit the shop anytime. Flint, Fireproof Lizard. I pretty much got a lot of these already. Rock Salt, Goron Spice. He controls the spice. See, this annoy- Oh, I guess the, uh, when this when there's a merchant here, this will be blue. Because I'm like so confused by it. Stable Master has asked you, asked you to get supplies to help his customers. These travelers struggle in the heat of the Elden region. What can you give them? Find that will give them relief. Fireproof lizard and a bunch of trophies. You did well. After you gave the Stable Master the fire resistant supplies, he passed them along to his customers. As a result, word spread of his kindness, and now his stable is very popular. Alright. Got a foothill stable. Uh, that's a mission. Don't want to do that yet. Fame Sculptor is taking his first ever trip. How much playtime have you logged? Uh, this is my second session. I did three and a half hours earlier, and I'm going to be doing another two now. I'm going to be trying to get a lot of this game in this week, because uh, ne starting next Sunday, I'm also going to be doing Golden Sun Dark Dawn. But actually, you know what? There's nothing for me to watch on Saturday night this upcoming week, so I'll probably start it Saturday night, like after midnight. And then uh, on uh, no, no, uh, December 8th, uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 comes out, and I'll be playing the story mode of that. So I've got a lot of... I've, that's pretty much going to be the rest of the year. This game and those two will be, like, the rest of my year. And then uh, first week of January, I won't be streaming because of AGDQ, and I'll be helping out with that. So pretty much you're gonna you're, you're looking at one-third of what the stream's going to be for the next uh, month and a half. Fame Sculptor is taking his first ever trip to Goron City, and he would like to donate a wood carving. However, he will need some fire-resistant coating to ensure it does not burn in Elden's heat. Let's do that. That gives uh, Daruk another heart. After a liberal coating of fireproof materials, the unique sculpture was finally complete. The figure defying even Death Mountain's flames truly captured the hearts of the Gorons. Your Friday Vampire the Masquerade game wrapped up, so now my Friday afternoons are open. Nice. This upcoming Friday, I'm going to be working two hours earlier and ending two hours earlier. Uh, and getting paid time and a half for it, which is really nice. Daruk is going to lead a class of aspiring climbers on a journey to the top of Death Mountain. Pack some heat-resistant materials so that nobody gets cooked. With plenty of fire-resistant materials to go around, the mountain climbing class went off without a hitch. As an added bonus, Daruk thought of a new move while he was training, while the training was underway. Nice, more basic attacks. It's much easier to remember mashing Y a bunch. Okay. Uh, entrance test. A, a special instructor at the military training camp will give you training if you show him proof you defeated a large number of monsters. Get that proof to earn his training. Yeah, we've got enough of those to spare. Whoa. After proving that you have defeated plenty of monsters, the instructor recognized your battle ability. He said he will train you any time, as long as you have enough rupees. Military training camp is now available. So the way this worked, those who seek to defend Hyrule, hone your skills here. <laughs> Just to f fill out this waiver absolving us of any liability. Oh, and a small fee. So the way this works is... um. You can level up any character to the max, the highest level character that you currently have. So, like, I could get Zelda up to 14 if I pay 600 rupees, which isn't too bad, honestly. Like, 200 is definitely worth getting her to 10. Very useful, obviously, when you get a lot of characters. Reminds me of uh, Soul Eater, that, that Nisa game. Speaking of Nisa, there's another game that I've been thinking of playing probably next year, though. I actually mentioned it earlier. It was called uh, Mad Rat Dead. It's like a rhythm platformer. Okay, I've solved everything here. I should probably just zoom out. There we go. Kakariko's best babysitter. Quest registered zero of two... Uh, sign... What? Oh, I don't have enough for that. Um, okay. 
thank God Twilight Princess's creepy baby shopkeeper isn't in this. I wonder if there is a place named after Malo in this game. It wouldn't surprise me. Not being able to fully zoom into the map in this kind of annoys me. Oh, I need coarser bee honey. Doesn't someone sell that? Impa promised to play with the Sheikah children on their upcoming rest day. Kids spend nearly all their time training. She'd like to spoil them a bit with some sweet treats. So I hit X that assigns it to the to the radar. And what does that do then? Like, I'm confused. Whatever. I'll leave it assigned for now. Wait, oh, there's someone here, though. Cores in the morning, gears at night, ancient screws and ancient shafts, guardian collection delight, merchant Segimo. Hey. Maybe it shows where you could find the honey. Possibly. Ancient cores. I'd uh. better buy that while I have the chance. Ancient spring. I only have one of, so let me buy three. Uh. Let me buy a couple ancient shafts as well. Ancient cores are always worth buying, because I remember those are very rare in uh, Breath of the Wild. I don't know what these are sorted by. Not, well, not uh, alphabetically. Raw prime meat. Fresh, high-quality piece of animal meat. I was almost kind of fucked up in Breath of the Wild that you could just kill, like, wolves and take their meat. Probably sell some rubies from some quick, uh, some quick dosh. Uh. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. This will move the current registration. Oh, okay. Tells you what you get, what you can remove. I don't know what that. I don't know what it does though. <laughs> Mabe Village. Oh, good thing I didn't sell the rubies. I needed one for this. A farming co-op should cooperate, but instead the farmers here and there are arguing about water. What they need is a good irrigation canal. Pay Gorons to build one. Oh, there goes a huge chunk of my money. When the farmers saw the new irrigation canal, they stopped arguing, and came together as a co-op again. They've been inspired to open a shop to sell their goods, too. Looking for a refreshing little pick-me-up? Look no further than fresh milk from our ranch. Hi. Oh, there. Bee honey. Perfect. And it's green, I guess, because I, I need it. Though, to be honest, I feel like you shouldn't need the sensor for that. I feel like the game should just be like, Oh, you need, uh, you need this for a quest. Like, it just highlights it automatically. Hylian rice. Let me get two of those. Fresh milk. Let me get two of those. Let me buy another honey, too, because I'm about to give this one away. I am stronger than before. Impa and the young Sheikah all savored a long, lazy day lounging around and stuffing their faces with sweets. Soon they'd be back at work, but in the meantime, it was nice to relax. Five double carrots and, uh, and a bonus heart. That is a different... Yeah, it's different from the normal carrot. So I need... I don't know what I need. In Mabe Village, a souffle is made with herbs. is a beloved dish for celebrations. A parent wants to make it for a child's birthday and needs help getting a key ingredient for this aromatic dish. Really easy one. You did well. With your herbs in hand, the parent was able to make the birthday souffle. What a lovely Mabe tradition. The child loved it, and thanks you were taught the life-giving recipe. Experience plus 7%. A souffle made with farm fresh milk? Cool. Oh man, I could actually go for something like that. Relief stress for soldiers. Soldiers gather in the room within the sage temple to meditate upon the discipline of soldiering. Bring them something to help guide their military mindfulness. 
When you burn the material, the fragments help the soldiers achieve balance of body and mind. Their military meditation will be far more effective now. Visit the temple to meditate in peace. Quiet meditation will allow you to practice your skills in an imaginary world. Oh yeah, so that's literally just a training area. So I've been told. Zelda seems calm as she carries out her role, greeting visitors from afar, but in fact, anxieties keep her awake at night. The waiting maid asks for your help soothing the troubled princess. What do I need? Cool Safina. Cool tapes. This place doesn't sell cool Safina, does it? No. That's probably a, uh... A Mifa thing. Oh, someone's here. Wait a minute. Uh, it's all shrooms. I think I've kind of... Yeah, I know. Go there next. I'm gonna go, uh... It's got two missions as well. Curious room in the temple. Perfect for meditation. Entering the room relaxes your spirit and prepares you for meditative training. God, that looks dorky. I like him with without the uh like I like him with the with the soldier's greaves but no shirt. I I don't know why, I just really like that look. There's a character I played as recently with that look. Is that Kevin from Trials of Mana? Practice your skills to meditative training, however you won't gain any experience points practicing this way. Change characters by pressing plus and you could choose to end your meditative training by pressing uh, minus. Some enemies. Okay. While in midair, press B to ride the wind. So it's literally a shrine. Alright, cool. At least it lets me try new uh it try lets me try new techniques out. As fast as he goes, huh? Also, doesn't really damage them all that much. So you can charge that. That's cool. See, it's a good thing I. It's a good thing I tried. Oh, you could switch directly between those. So you literally get nothing for that. It's just a cool place to go to if I want to uh, try stuff. Though I did get something in the gallery for it.
God, you know me and collectibles. Daruk's training. Recommended level 5. Can only use Daruk. Restricted allies, time limited, main enemies, Zalfos and Moblins. First clear reward. A new weapon and some materials. The rocks you eat right after training always taste the best. In the pursuit of greater power and delicious rocks, Daruk will focus on his training today. good it's got a very steady gameplay loop you do one main mission you do a bunch of side stuff and then you do side missions and then do another main mission also more people get added to the uh menu the more you unlock what's interesting to me though is that uh oh it's the guardian supposed to be here i'm like why is there a space between link and impa it's Link, Impa, Zelda, and then Daruk, and I just realized that the Guardian is supposed to be the little the gap there, but you can move them out of there. You uh, press L and R. Again, my only real complaint so far is that the, uh, the camera doesn't auto-adjust in any way. So, like, if I want to turn around, the camera will not slowly pan around. I have to manually turn the camera around by pressing ZL every time. I'm assuming it's done that way so it's easier to attack behind you since it's very easy to get, like, a whole squad of enemies right near you, but I also don't really like it all that much. As you can tell, camera control is kind of my is kind of my weak spot. Nah, let's not use that now. Open wide, little guy! No, oh, it's big guy. Little guy's Link. I will say a lot of the button prompts in this game require really, really tight timing. Like, you need to have really good reaction time. That does not have very good range, huh? My magma shots have better range than that. nothing. 
But I have no ice rod. What happened to that? Does, does, does it not refill between missions? Or maybe I just don't have it in this mission. That does such little damage to them. Moblins have appeared. Oh, that's interesting. Now there's no time limit. <laughs> Dodge is a little janky in this game, but it's not hard. Hey, not bad. Look, it's the same weapon I have. Uh, Cobble Crusher, but this one's 18. High resell weapon. Oh, so that's a good, uh, good weapon to sell off then. Damage at 30% or le hearts are less 7%. Uh, probably just fuse that out. See, it's weird because, like, with the other characters, it's just worth f fusing everything into the strongest weapon because you're just gonna only use that one anyway. Hell, even for Link, it's kind of like that just because all the weapons work the same. Goron warriors have invented a dangerous new pastime, playing hot potato with a ball of red choo-choo jelly. Would you mind collecting some of the fiery material for them? Tossing around the ball of red choo-choo jelly, the Gorons really built up their stamina. Even the great Daruk joined in, and after playing a few rounds, he thought of a new move. Nice. Y, 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 X. Still don't have that. Uh, oh, right. I was going to go here. High resell. Well, it's certainly a high level 
weapon. I wonder if fusing something else into it would make it better, though. Like, would, ma would make itself even more. So, like, if I, say... Chose this one. And then fused in this. This, this... So that's a hundred rupees I have to spend for that now. Wait, no, fifty. <laughs> now it's a level three with high resell. No, don't go to Link. One eighty six. Not much better. I wasted more money fusing it than I would have if I sold it. I also feel like it's not entirely worth selling all these weapons. A lot they're not really worth a whole lot. You could sell materials for more than this. It's kinda of better to just save them and start fusing them all in. Wait, there are different versions of the of the weapon. Boulder Breaker, Cobble Crusher. Okay, so he does. They do get other weapons. Damage per two KOs. Oh, this actually adds it in there though. This is a good uh, a good upgrade. What does this have? A square and a and a splat. Oh, okay. There's a couple of them with that. Well, that really doesn't do much, huh? It I lose all those special abilities. Also, I'm noticing that uh, the experience really starts dropping off at a certain point. Like, that's pretty good. It brings it up to level 8, but those other three I could probably just sell. <laughs> Though I guess it doesn't matter, because once you hit level 20, you can't increase it anymore, so you're better off just finding a stronger one with the same level, and then you just have to deal with not having the abilities. Alright, I think I'm figuring... I think I'm slowly starting to figure out the, the intended way of, uh, of going about this. These are useless. These are probably useless. Actually, wait. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're good to fuse into my to my main weapon. That is very expensive. Currently a two. If I fuse all these in, it gets. I don't need that in there. I don't even need that in there either. Twenty-six, twenty-six, twenty-four. Yeah, it's best to just shove two in there and sell the other two. <laughs> I'm learning. These all have abilities. I might be able to fuse those in. These do not. And at this point, I'm probably not going to be able to make it too much stronger with these. A healing item drop rate. This is healing item drop rate as well. At the same rate, though. Actually, Alright, so I might keep that. 
High resale weapon. Okay, so let's sell that and these three. It only costs 250 to fuse all those in. But then I lose uh, the abilities up here. So which one gives it an ability? Or do I have to put both of these in there? Damage to mid-air enemies plus 7. Special attack charge rate plus 4. Healing item drop rate plus 12. Okay. Dash attack. Oh, I see. So I can inherit one of these if I fuse in another weapon. Special attack charge rate. That's really not that. Well, actually, no. That might be good. Damage to mid-air enemies plus 7. Eh. Healing item drop rate plus 12 is really good. Dash attack damage plus 7. I think the special... Uh, no. Healing item drop rate plus 12 is probably a really good one to have. These all pretty much give the same uh, boost. to do. There we go. Menuing the game. Uh, these both kind of add in the same level. There, huh? I do want to hold on to one just in case I have to fuse another later. Then again, I'll probably find more. And again, 4% to my charge time. Isn't that good? <laughs> also, I'm going to go back to training and try that out real quick. I want to see if that weapon's actually different. <laughs> been at this for an hour, huh? A little bit. Oops. Oh yeah, you just use it the same. I mean, to be fair, it's like that in Breath of the Wild as well. You kind of just use all... You, you use the Lizzle Boomerang the same. The only difference is that when you throw it, it acts differently. And since you can't throw weapons in this game... Since this is his special anyway. Also, see, now not having the... Uh, not having the uh, motion control aiming on is annoying. I guess I could get used to the controls being like this. Just, I don't know. I keep saying I want inverted, and then when I get used to them, I, or when I start playing with them, I like, can't get used to them. I think I just mess it up in my head constantly anyway. Alright, so this Lizzle Boomerang's not too great. It just looks fun.
I wasn't a fan of the Fickery archery in Breath of the Wild. Uh, I prefer using a pro control, and the design seemed to dislike that. Wait, have you played Breath of the Wild? Let's get that out of here. One sec. There we go. Breath of the Wild's controls were a little weird. I remember both, um... Both my brother and my friend did not like them that much. They had to get used to them. I did too. Played enough of the flat to get off the plateau in a friend switch. Ah, okay. Um, I definitely had issues with it. I did not as much as my friends did. They were really upset that they couldn't remap the controls though to like specific buttons. And I was just like, I got used to it, but I could totally understand that. And I think that it's kind of the same here. Anyway, uh, I was going to change... I gotta change weapons now because I don't want that little boomerang anymore. Show us what you're made of. Let's unlock that, equip that, and I could toss that out. Or I could see if I can make it even stronger. Okay, so we got three good abilities here. What if I pick healing drop rate? No. So I can't get that uh, ability on there again. And same with that one, and same with that one. But this has nothing in it, so it doesn't really add much. Yeah, none of these are really that good for fusing in. I might wait and just hold them for abilities later. I'll, I'll sell the Lizzo Boomerang. I do not need that. Oh, the whole... Well, first off, that was actually Platinum Games, because Star Fox on the Wii U was made by Platinum. Um, Star Fox Zero. The, the thing they... The problem wasn't really the motion controls. It was more the fact that you had to look at both the TV and the gamepad at the same time. And unfortunately, it didn't work well. If they can rework it so it works on a single screen and release it on the Switch, I'm sure it'll do much better, honestly. Okay, so we're at a point now where it's just missions. Miyamoto demanded the interface. It wouldn't surprise me. Maybe it was him. I don't know. Mastering Cryonis, Anti-Flame Training 1. Master the use of Cryonis and defeat the monsters. Uh, spoilers, you do not have to do any of that. Because remote bombs, I did not use remote bombs in that battle. I did, but like, I didn't just use them. on your enemy's movements a shortcut <laughs> fire bad blast remote bombs deals damage to weak point gauges press the blacksmith guild press x while running to shield surf wait what i thought i had to um do a combo for that slash slash x yyz sorry yyz because it's rush and they're uh you're apparently British. Press X in the middle of the regular... Okay. Perfect dodge. Yeah, I, I love using that attack for mobility. One, two... Slide. Doesn't go very far, though. Okay, so while running, if I press X... Oh, you could just... Okay, cool. Doesn't last forever, but it sure goes far. Nice. Cricket. Just, uh... You don't get them often from grass, honestly. They say Master Cryonis, but yet I'm not... I haven't used it once yet. I'll use it now. Wait, Cryonis... Yeah, no, Cryonis is the, is the ice one. It confuses me that the Magnet is the red ability and not the, uh... And not the yellow ability. 
Why am I out of Ice Rod all of a sudden? I did not use Ice Rod. I used Elect Rod. Lightning Rod, whatever. See, I'm at... Yeah, how... What did I run out of that? Oh, wait. No, it couldn't be. The, the Sheikah Slate doesn't use that. Say that is not uh that's not the end of this. No way in hell. Ooh, blue nightshade. Weird. This is like the only, yeah. This is this is the only area you could do this in, and you get materials from it. So definitely worth the time. Also, you can slice and get uh stuff. Wood. I wonder if there are Koroks in these missions. I don't think there are. I think they're only in the main missions. See, I'm already not used to the camera not being inverted now. Wait a minute, can I go in there? No. Oh no, oh god. I'm quaking in my boots. Still gotta figure out what is uh what the deal with the uh, rod energy is. Hakariko Kodachi, monster part drop rate. So they do get other weapons, they're just not very common. There's not a whole lot of variety. Like, Daruk has two, two swords and they both look the same. I'm sure towards the end of the game you'll get their legendaries.
Anti-flame training level 1. Time limited. Dangerous fiery monsters are gathering. Don't flun flunch. Don't flinch from the flames. Drive the monsters away. Again, not really worth using those. When baked, they become even more fragrant and delicious. Apparent, there's a um. A thing on the menu, on the records for uh, baked app, how many apples you've baked. And apparently I've already done five, even though I'd never tried. It just means that I got hit by fire. You don't refill, uh, broad energy between battles. That's really weird. This game's so dead set on having, like, isolated, ooh, missions, and yet you don't, re you don't even refill your energy between them. Josta, in my experience, the best way to deal with the problem is to burn it. Am I, am I Dio going to have to choke a bitch? Because I Dio have not done enough bitch choking today. That's a boat. That is some old shit right there, and I did not watch it until I would seen uh, the rest of JoJo. Whoa. Oh, that hit nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Dolls better than my Dio. <laughs> yeah, but also that's that's you know early early 2010s abridged uh, Avdol. Yes, I am. Getting kind of rocked here. Two of them. Now there are two of them.
Wow, that clear time is kind of garbage. At least I'm getting my money back. Attack range plus four. And another Kodama. With the attack range plus... Not Kodama, Kodachi. A Kodama... It, no, Ko, I'm getting Kodama and Kendama mess, mixed up. Kendama is that toy with the ball on it. That, uh... Genus uses in Tales of Symphonia. Was it Genus? Genus is the kid, right? Yeah, Rain is the woman. Is, is the older sister. That's another game I was thinking about streaming. It's on Steam, but it's the PS2 version, which runs at 30 FPS and has a lot of glitches. It's really weird that the GameCube version of Symphonia is like the best version, and they've never used it in anything. Kodama's a tree spirit, yeah. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. So it's just those three quests. I should probably... Are there any stables that have merchants? No. Okay. Alright. Only time to do another... Uh, story mission. This will probably be the last one, too, because... Uh, these missions take a long time. Let's do, uh, let's do Mifa. Wait, does it actually have a recommended level? Six. Five. Six. Alright, let's do Urbosa then. What was the recommended level for, uh, uh, Krungus over here? Five. Okay. So I guess they intend you to do these two first. Okay, let's, um... Put Zelda in since she's Urbosa's uh Urbosa's buddy. I wish it said, hold on. Oh, it, looks delicious. it doesn't Yum. Fuck! Mm -hmm. Alright. I was gonna say, wait a minute, how do I know, um... Okay, so that buff stays, I don't have to worry about it. But I was gonna be like, where, how do I see... Like, where does it show my, uh, my, uh... Materials? I mean, that only took four meat, so it's not that big of a deal. But I didn't know how much I had. Incredible. I'm guessing that's a, that's just a random occurrence. The Gerudo lived in a settlement in the Gerudo Desert. Link flying with the uh Comprised the Kuko. of women. They were a tribe of great might and nobility. For her exceptional strength and her ability to harness lightning, Urbosa, chief of the Gerudo, was the clear choice to pilot divine beast Va Naboris. Zelda knew Urbosa, thanks to her close relationship with the late Queen of Hyrule. With her party in tow, Zelda traveled to Gerudo Town to speak with her old friend. However, their journey took an unexpected turn. Desert region where day and night temperatures differ radically. Zelda and her party should prepare for any climate, even though there's no temperature gauge in this game. Why do you think you're most like Urbosa? It's more that you don't really. Sh I mean, you you don't definitely don't strike me as Mifa, uh, or Zelda, or or Impa. Maybe Pura to an extent, but I'm not sure. It's really hard to boil down. You're a lot more complex than that.
Wait, why are they chasing after her? But why? Why are the Gordo attacking us? Ragosa will surely be able to explain everything if we can reach her. Oh boy, I'm fighting the Gerudo. <laughs> it's weird now to think of the Gerudo as bad guys, like after Breath of the Wild, because they're, they're so helpful and they're so cool. It's like so different from, from the, the N64 games where they're not good guys. Remember, my man's gonna lose his shit when you see the egg. Head towards town from the south side. Wow, why why is she after us? Okay, they don't explode, they just disappear. Surf the dunes. I, I wish I could, but there's probably no difference in terrain here. It's, it's it lasts the same. I mean, it's a fun tactic, but I wonder what those weird gates are on the map at the top. Okay, I gotta stop. I can see their health bars. I need to stop when when uh when they, they disappear. Didn't mean to do that. Does he not get spears? Um, he might as, a, as part of two-handed Link, but uh, definitely not this. It's gonna probably st stick to swords and such. Okay, what am I doing? All right, I, I should head to the objective. Here we go. See, my natural instinct is to kill everything, which is not how you're supposed to play this game. Zelda's health is fine. Why, why'd you give me that warning? Did she eat? No, stop. She did eat, that's why. Hey! Thank you for the raid, I appreciate it. How you doing, Tulf? I didn't hear that. I gotta turn those uh, that notification sound up, which isn't good because I don't have access to Streamlabs anymore. I'm running this through regular OBS now. And I don't have any way of adjusting it. How goes Hyrule Warriors? Uh, pretty good. I'm getting my ass kicked. Not really. Um, I'm just uh, recruiting the champions, finding out why Arbosa is attacking me. Why is there a whiz robe here? Okay. Yeah, I know. I can go to the web page. I just haven't done it in a while. Wrong. Alright, uh... Small band of hoodlums. Ow. Filled that. We made friends with Rockman and we're going under after Thunder Waifu. 
Love playing Zelda. Um, me too. This is my first Warriors game, actually. I've never played a uh, Dynasty Warriors game before. I thought for sure that my first was going to end up being Persona 5 Scramble, but this game got announced and released before then. So that's life. Yeah, what's wrong with Lady Arbosa here? Does she have like a Dio headbutt in her or something? Like a Ganon headbutt or some shit? Okay, head for the town to meet with Arbosa. Like it better than normal Hyrule Warriors. See, that's kind of worrying to me because I was going to play that as well at some point. I just never had the time. Most recent Musou game was uh, Dragon Quest Heroes. That was a Musou game? I didn't know that. I, I heard people mention a Dragon Quest... Uh, Warriors game, but... No, no. I mean, the nice thing is that these games are adapting more of the source materials, uh... They're adapting more of the source materials, uh, gameplay styles. Like, Persona 5 Scramble is way different from how this game is in terms of the mechanics, because you could actually, like, fuse Persona and stuff in it. Locking on would help. I really should remember that. They got a sequel. Yeah. Well, I mean, I knew the name. I just couldn't... I just didn't know it was a Muso game. I also find it funny that we call them, that they're just referred to by their Japanese title, even though Warriors game works fine since all the games have the have Warriors in the title, except Persona 5 at this point. Meanwhile, there's Fire Emblem Warriors, which are like two people have played, apparently. Okay, I'm wasting time here. I really shouldn't be doing this. Uh. Oh, I see. There was another entrance. Whoops. Yeah, this one makes more sense for the story. It, I think they did a really good job with it, too. I mean, if they were going to choose any Zelda game to follow up with, like, a canon Warriors game, I'm glad it's this one. Even though they very promptly threw in possibility of bullshit happening with the, the time-traveling Guardian. Still, I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. I'm very much open to, to, to giving the story a go. Just missed a gate. No, I didn't. I, I know where it is. Ancient memory part. Perfect. Oh, this was an outpost. Even though it's part of the town. You like the way you did, but that's all you're gonna say. Um, you were just playing it. Nice. I, um... I mean... What the... Ooh. Oh. Whoops. I saw the Gerudo captain, thought she was Urvosa, and then was like, oh, well, she's not gonna hurt me. I'm very open to change. I'll say that I, pl I streamed Final Fantasy VII Remake earlier this year, and all the weird bullshit that happened during it was, like, my favorite part. Especially towards the end. I was like, oh, that's so awesome. I love how they're, they can just go off the rails now with the rest of the story. I can't wait to see what happens in the next game. And I hope we get the announcement of it, like, by next summer so that we have it by the following year. I will buy a PS5 just to play that game. Sand seal place. FF16 might distract some of that press. Um, maybe. The thing is, I feel that because FF16, just by looking at the trailer and knowing who's working on it, it's very obvious that they're going for the FF14 crowd with that, which is great because the FF14 crowd is gigantic 
FF14 is a great game, even though I've never played it. I don't have 600 hours to invest in that, which is unfortunate because I'm missing out. But it's very clear that FF16 is going to be appealing to the uh, to the 14 crowd, and I think 7 Remake is, is specifically going to be catering to, you know, the people who want the remake crowd, which may be bigger or smaller after the remake came out. Combat system is handled by the same guy who worked on Devil May Cry. Really? Interesting. I know Yoshi P is like the director, and he's, you know, everyone loves him. Personally, waiting for uh, Bravely Default 2 next year. I am so looking forward to that game. I completely forgot about 2. I don't know if I'll be streaming that one. I might not, just because it's probably going to be a very, very long one. But maybe I will, I don't know. I might not have time to play it off-stream. Devil may cry. Gerudo Tempest. Abasa. Oh, Why? What are you doing? Thwarting your destiny, of course. Hm. Princess Zelda. What the... Faker Bosa? I came back as quickly as yep. I could. I was like, why'd she get hit by lightning? Not exactly what I expected to find. It's a Yiga clan member, I bet. Abosa? I hope you're not hurt, little bird. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> You've got some nerve. Thinking you can go toe to toe with Master Koga! Top banana of the Yiga clan. How is he alive so now? You. <laughs> Yiga, assemble! Me excluded, of course. <laughs> Very much skill. Faceless could be a successor. All right, uh, fair enough. So double Lady or Bosa was calling the shots, and now the town is utterly surrounded. Charge lightning gauge. Lightning gauge powered attack. X after repeatedly after a strong attack. Am I stuck? Yeah, I, I, f I figured it could be something like that, but the fact that they act so similar leads me to believe it's the same character. And if it is explained, I'm looking forward to having that. Yeah, if they all have a successor, they all have the same voice. Well, then again, you didn't really hear his voice much in the original game, because he never was in a cutscene. Every time I see... Every, okay, every time I see this room and I see these stairs, I think of uh, when... The game Grumps are playing this. And Dan was like, hey Aaron, when did Skyward Sword come out? And he goes, I don't know, 2000 dumb. Wow, now that's an attack. Oh, force lightning. Okay, so does this charge automatically? Yes, it does, so I don't have to charge it. It just makes it easier. I should probably... I like that they just throw you into battle with these characters. It's really good. Okay, so she has four Ys, or she could X at any time. ZR fills lightning gauge, tap repeat X repeatedly. The deal damage between lightning gauge. When sparks fly at the end of your X attack, press ZR to charge the lightning gauge. Wish you would groove when you actively charge. 
Stop enemy movement in front of you for a period of time and slash wildly it affected enemies. Oh, so she uses she also uses stasis uh, offensively. Roll a remote bomb in front of you with a shockwave will launch you skyward. Create an ice pillar head knocking enemies into the air. Call X to call down lightning on airborne enemies. So her remote bomb is what gives her uh, upwards momentum. Q mirror B's battle music. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I might. That's another game I might stream someday. Pokemon Coliseum and XD. Those are actually really fun. And if I remember, Coliseum was hard. That game was not easy. It was also the first game to, to rely entirely on uh, double battles. Okay, wait a minute. So if I use... If I press... Okay, I'm... Screwing around too much here. that meter doesn't take long to fill. Oh, these doors are open now. memory part. It's yellow, too. I wonder if that has any significance. So wait, if she does X... I'm so confused by how this works. Back in there. Again, it's a little weird because, like, the game doesn't let you, like, fall off corners and stuff and climb back up them. Even though it's Breath of the Wild's world where you're used to that being, like, the norm. Whoa. Rupee, give me that. What are those big red splotches out there? Defeat Eagle Blade Master. Oh, okay, there's they're over there. I almost went outside for no reason. So she's got some AoEs going on here. I kind of like how everyone just has a paraglider at this point in time. Like, it's the hot new thing for everyone to carry around on them. As opposed to the future where Link Link has to beg 
uh, an old man to give it to him. Yeah, it's probably quicker to go through town. It's the first Musou game to really get into vertical combat. Yeah, it's, it's the hot new thing, verticality. Just like um, next next year we're going to get Monster Hunter Rise, which is going to be quite vertical. By the way, I need to clear out some of my backlog before March, because that game is going to fucking soak up so much time. You can easily expect streams of that game. Lots of streams of it. How do I do the Force Lightning like I was doing before, though? There we go. They sound like dogs. They're like barking. Oh, nice. So she, her cryonis has an auto attack with it. I gotta say, like, the, the fact that every character has unique uses for all of the runes is really cool. to the Blade Master's path. Sounds like John DiMaggio, a bit. See, the thing with Monster Hunter Rise is I've never played a monster... Just like Musou, I've never played a Monster Hunter game before. I've played, um... I've played demos of all the 3DS games, but I never got into them. And now that there's going to be a brand new one coming out that everyone's obviously going to get, I'm just like, oh, perfect. Perfect time for me to get into it. I never had the money to play it when I was into it on the 3DS, playing the demos. And then when it was on the Switch, I was too busy at the time. But now I might have the time for it, or I can make the time for it, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm in for a treat. Yes, I am. Also, hey, Twitchy. How you doing? What? Why am I uh, not locked? Okay, that was weird. I'm good. Clearly just having fun here. Oh, there's two Blade Master shit. Hey, thank you.
It's always fun to meet new people. Gonna be getting the collector's edition. Nice. Uh, I'm probably just gonna get it digitally because I know it's gonna be a game that's gonna be stuck in my uh, Switch for quite a while. And I have a 512 gig card, so I might as well just go digital as, as much as I can. I thought I was getting like a double-sized card earlier this year and I was like, oh wait, I only had 128 gigs in there. I, I bought a card four times the size I had. Got a pretty good deal on it too. This I got physical though, because I want to. I know my brother's gonna want to play this. I gotta, I gotta fight Mulduga. <sighs> Enemies losing momentum. Oh, okay, we have to head up there. Capture the outposts. until the one terabyte cards get a little cheaper. I was honestly thinking of doing that, but I figured the one terabyte cards are still a little too pricey at the moment, and I didn't want to wait for more storage. So I was just like, I'll get the 512, because I found a good deal on one. I got it for less than, like, 80 bucks. You can order them to different... Um, and, and men yeah, I know, you could uh, use the map to control them. I'm just taking Zelda, because I know she's the farthest away, and if I command her, it's going to take her longer to get there than me just running. So I'm guessing the important thing is to not engage Mulduga. Zelda's a little, like, I love how she plays, but she's a little too weird for me to, use, like, handle properly. Also, how is that Yiga clan dude so big? Order. Execute order. 66. Okay, you can't go in that ruin at all. Lots of potassium. <laughs> I love the idea of the Yiga clan in Breath of the Wild. But the weird thing to me is that I thought they showed up after um, the Calamity had happened. Because I thought the whole thing was that they were Sheikah who were disappointed in Link. So they just made their own like evil faction. So it's a bit weird to see them there. At the same time, though, you do see them in cutscenes, in uh, memory cutscenes in the previous game, so... Oh, I'm out of healing. the bomb again. Oh. Okay, it's it's YYX uh, for the bomb. Oh, 
Oh, nice. There we go. Link has the weapon that drops, uh... stuff, so I might switch to him. Just to try to, uh... Just so I can possibly get some apples out of this. Combination of vitamins, Wheaties, and steroids. I mean, the Blade Masters are pretty big, so... Maybe Link's just really tiny. There we go. Good. Post left. Okay, I can't go in that other area until I clear this one out, probably. This one's locked. That's probably where Koga will be. That looks suspicious. Yep. Stop. Wrong! Ah, see, I did it again. Dachi. Where'd you guys come from? Okay, good. There's a path down from here. I was gonna say, if they're really making us go all the way around, that would be terrible. Ooh! Boss is already there. Nice. Kill count, 1070. It's time to finish this once and for all. Ooh, did I level up? Because all my stuff is full. Again, l games with tactical level ups. Salado Robo, this, World Ends With You. Did that countdown end? Wasn't it supposed to end this weekend? I wonder what, if anything got announced. I'll you out. 
That's cool. I didn't see how she uses Cryonis yet. Oh, you belly bumped me. Whoa, that doesn't look good. I'm paralyzed. Time freezes a banana break. It's a bit tricky to get used to her bombs because then she immediately goes into vertical mode. Didn't really work. <laughs> oh, I can't switch either. Kind of stomping us. Technique taught by my father's mother's father. Now there are two of them. Oof. Ah. Uh oh. What oh. Pretty bird outside. Kick its ass. Kill it like the rest. Ah. Look, buddy, I've played Mario RPG before. I know about all about duplication and killing the weak one. Actually, no. In, in Mario RPG, you're not supposed to kill the fake Yarado Vic because it's a waste of time going after him. Oh, so he does refill health when he stuns you. Okay.
There we go. Got a weak point. I think we'll be out of line for this guy to shout, I have fury. I really need to play. I want to play replay uh, Superstar Saga at some point. My friend cammy has been streaming that. These losers defeat me. Is this going to be the end of the stream? Yes, but there's probably going to be another uh, immediate Divine Beast segment first. Right hand of the inverted eye, Suga. Cool, a new character. It's time to retreat. I think not. <laughs> That's the first exclusively new character other than the mini guardian. Oh, I did get a spear. The iron tip is very sturdy and the shaft will not burn when exposed to flame. I might have to check that out before I end the stream. Ancient memory parts. Gerudo scimitar. High resale weapon. Nice. Kodachi. I got an amber. I remember finding that quite often in uh, the normal game. Desert Vo Spalder. Armor for mail sold on rare occasions by Gerudo retailers. Noble Pursuit. Oh, I remember that. There's a whole uh, mission based around that. Canteen's most famous drink, or an iced tropical juice mixture that does it justice. Yeah, you don't get to go back to the menu after this. That's why I started the stream with one of these, because I had to pause it while I took a break. Thank you for meeting me here. The town is a bit, uh, chaotic, shall we say. Wait, why is Link wearing the shirt? I didn't have it on. You anywhere. You know about the Yiga clan, I trust. Sheikah traders working in the shadows to revive Calamity Gen. Oh, interesting. Those lowlifes have been wreaking havoc here in Gerudo Canyon. So they changed their backstory a bit, or it was misremembered in Breath of the Wild. How long can we stand by and watch them get away? will pilot this divine beast. You are precious to me, and you need my help. I cannot refuse. Uh, thank you, Urbosa. As princess of Hyrule, I too will carry out my sworn duty. Little bird. However I am able to support you, I will. Just say the word. I wonder if we see the, uh, we'll actually see the scenes from the memories. Because in the, um, in Breath of the Wild's flashbacks, the earliest memory is still after all this. You turned and fled. Is that it? Well, if they hadn't interrupted me. It seems that, as low as my expectations of you were, I was overly optimistic. What? Well, no matter. Ah, yes, the time gear. My harbinger, show me. The future. Oh god, I'm a dark mini? A dark mini thing with bananas? Yeah, the evil egg. Hmm. 
I already have some predictions about how this might go. And it doesn't surprise me because it's... This is, you know, Zelda has done literally the same, the exact idea I'm thinking of before. So... Oh, there wasn't a forced pilot sequence in this one. Okay, that's interesting. The chief of the Gerudo who possesses the power to command lightning herself. She was close friends with the late Queen of Hyrule. Now she's entrusted with piloting Divine Beast Nva Naboris. Okay, we got a, we got a lot of ground to cover here. Uh, what's this one? The dying shop can't get a hold of its main supplier, Merchant of Dyes. You found someone who knows how to make contact, but he said he wants a gemstone in return. Yes. This is in Hateno Village. Mage reminds me of Mosenrath. Interesting that we didn't see his name yet. I wonder what is. I wonder who he is. After you handed over the gemstone, the informer was revealed to be the dye merchant himself. Sounds like a needless runaround to you, but at least the dyeing shop is restocked. You can visit the dye shop to change the color of your attire, but be aware of the nominal cost. Dye shop owner needs to eat too. I drew the dyer. Price list. Why is white for the shirt so expensive? I'm so confused. Why why is that why are the prices different? And of course Link's the only one who could have his clothes changed. I might put that on instead of just having him be shirtless. I do kind of like how the yellow looks there. It's not really worth it, though. It is not worth the money. Again, th that's all cosmetic. Making a monster. A youth from Hateno Village wants to make a monster dummy that he can practice for use for two-handed weapons. But only need some monster parts to craft it. With the materials Link gave him, the youth was able to make a true-to-life monster dummy. The pair trained together, improving Link's skill with two-handed weapons. Do I have access to this now? Two-handed weapon. Unique action. Unleash a powerful blow that hurts the user a bit. Press ZR instead of X to do an attack so powerful it hurts the user. Press X to eat a meal which heals self-inflicted damage. So it's like, a, it's like a fighting game. You could heal the temp damage. You just can't use it normally. Stops enemy movement in front of you. The remote bombs one after another. Launching it. Okay. So his, so his mo special moves work the same. It's just the two-handed weapon has a different uh, move set. Someone has told you how he survives life in a village plagued by lightning. He eats a dish that keeps him from being shocked. Bring him the ingredient, and then I'll tell you how to make it. You were served a mushroom skewer grilled to perfection. The aroma alone was worth it, and eating it will keep you from going numb when zapped. Damage from lightning, minus 50%. Nice. A buffet of delicacies. Guests from across the land have been invited to Central Hyrule for a grand banquet to strengthen their bonds. Prepare delicacies from each region to entertain the visitors' taste buds. Oh, you know why? That that item I don't have is, um... What is it? Swift Violet? That's from... Uh, Hebra, probably. Still don't have enough for that. Still don't have enough for that. Still don't have enough for that. Again, I feel like I feel like registering the quests is kind of a pointless. They should kind of just um they should kind of just like let you like look and see what you need in any situation. It wouldn't be that hard. Arbosa plans to, plans to embark on a grueling form of training, doing battle with electric Lizalfos outside Gerudo Town. Give her something to help stave off the heat of the blazing desert sun. 
primed to withstand the scorching heat, Urbosum easily mowed down one electric Lizalfos after another. She returned from this intensive training with a new move under her belt. Alright, new, uh, new standard combo. Some Gerudo Vi, who are passionate about research, plan to perform an experiment with lightning. It seems they want to discover new applications for electrical energy. The experiment ended in failure, not to mention a painful shock for all involved. Rather than being dismayed, however, the, even the researchers shared a hearty laugh. Arbosa even had a smile on her face. Yeah, just making it a little more powerful each time. Wanted shop assistant. Some parents are worried for their daughters, who took over their shop. She needs an assistant to help with the tasks that could sink a shop if left unhandled. For that, she'll need money. Ah, yes, insurance. You did well. With the money you brought, the shop owner hired some help, and her parents were glad to see their daughter turn the shop around. Stop by to buy things sometimes. Vasak. Vasak. Savorta. Oh, they sell diamond. But that's probably not worth paying the amount for. Oh, that's 2000 I can't even buy it. Well, it's good that there's a place to just buy it if you need it. Okay, that's everything I can do. Wait, what's this? No, yeah, I already did that. Uh, so what does that leave now, aside from going to another story mission? It leaves two two of these missions. Recommended level 5. Restricted allies time limit. Arbosa has gathered her soldiers and declared the start of combat drills. Never one to shirk hard work, she also intends to take part. Uh, you know what? I could probably do this. I don't know about the other one. Scimitar of the Seven. Famous sword beloved by Urbosa. It's said that when she swings the sword in battle, her movements resemble a beautiful dance. She looks just like a pretty girl. No, what was it? Fuck. You just like her because she looks like a pretty girl. No, you just said that because she looks like a pretty girl. That is why I said that. Yeah, I like that. Now that's true barbarian look right there. Beef boy. You had regular attack damage up version of her weapon. I did? No, I didn't. That's just the one she starts with, probably. No, nah, that's nothing. Attack damage, regular attack damage plus two, high resell. Uh, let's... Wait, no, what? No, 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 no. Use this. So high resell can be inherited onto a weapon. I'm assuming that makes it better because a higher level weapon will sell for more. But uh, we'll just do this. And I'll sell the weapon. <laughs> Ooh, look at this Oboko bat. There's any high resells for uh oh I could swap between them. Yeah, I don't want to go too crazy with with fusing now because apparently I don't make the oh yeah the spear. Let me tr all right wait can I choose who to use for this? Okay, I'll use the spear in this mission. But for this I'll just use uh I'll just do this now. I wonder how many chapters are in this game, because it's it takes a long time to get through one chapter. I've been playing this for six hours, and I'm almost, well, almost six hours. And I'm, uh, halfway done with chapter two. That's why I wanted to play the demo a few days ago, but I couldn't, because I didn't finish a lot of Robo. Oh, if you double tap it, he, go, he, he goes really fast. Beat many training opponents, as in a whole 100 of them. Ha, 
I wonder if that means I'll fight Hylian soldiers in some mission. Okay, I need a little distance here. I am the oncoming storm of fury and meanness! If I woke up my mom with that, I'm telling her you did that to me. Oh god, I, I have something I have to fucking record tonight, don't I? Oh shit, I better uh, wrap this up soon. Man, it is getting so hard to manage my time properly. So you just don't refill anything between fights, huh? That's kind of weird. I'm not a big fan of that. Ooh, I got a, I got a bug somehow. Shoot. Alright. I'll check out the spear in the training room. Yeah, and I have to I have to eat something too. Another oh, spear. Yeah, what I'll do is um I will Oh my neck. Oof. Just want to hire you as your time manager. I look. It's not a matter of managing my time. It's a matter of me not just not doing things when I'm supposed to. Like, I can plan out as much time as I want for things, but then I just don't do them. Can't do that yet. An innkeeper was quite proud of her new all metal establishment until she reminded about the region's frequent thunderstorms. Help her add some electricity resistant insulation. And we got another new mission over here: anti lightning training. All right, let's let's go in here real quick with the uh, link, Linkus, Linkus McDinkus. So, so this is the two-handed weapon, uh, thing. That's pretty cool. So ZR... So that's a basic charge, uh, and then if you slash a bunch... Oh, you know what? I'm not losing health because uh, this is training mode.
close the distance by... Oh, wait. Presses ER to charge forward. Less for quick movement, even in the middle of attacks. Oh, this isn't two-handed. Maybe this isn't actually two-handed. So Link just gets different movesets for different weapons. Yeah, this is two-handed. Press ZR instead of X to do an all attack so powerful, it hurts the user a bit. Press X to eat a meal, which heals, heals self-inflicted damage. Oh yeah, look, it gives you, like, temp damage. And then if you press X, you just eat. Yeet. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. I might have to uh, invest in having a, a good axe, a good axe and a good spear ready to go. In fact, that, those, these spears are pretty good. I might, uh, I might focus on raising this one up a bit. Lock that, and I'll lock this too. These probably don't do uh, anything significant. It's gonna make him into the vague, yeah. I just recently auditioned for someone that literally was just the Vake. Like, the character description was very close to, to what he is. Alright, I really want to keep going. But, uh, I'm sorry, little robot buddy. It has to stop. We have to call it here. Progress saved. All right, that was fun. Uh, so, just briefly touch on the week. Tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, probably much more of this. Uh, probably Tuesday, I'll try to fit in win Ring Fit Adventure in the morning as well. Thursday, I'm either not going to stream if I'm doing stuff with my family on Thanksgiving, or I might try to finish Creepy... I might go back to Creepy Castle and try to make progress in that. Friday, I'm working two hours earlier, so I'll probably do a longer stream. Then on Saturday... Uh, probably more of this during the day, and then in the evening, uh, on, like, after midnight, I might do, I might start Golden Sun Dark Dawn, since that's, uh, the 10-year anniversary on, uh, next Sunday. And then I'll just be switching between the two games throughout the next following week until, uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 comes out. Then I'll be cycling those, through those three games until they're all done. And that'll pretty much be all of December. Uh, also, I might stream a lot. In another week, I don't know. We'll see. There's a, there might be a day I have off. I'll, I'll I'll have to check. But yeah, that was fun. Thanks for coming. Thanks for following. If you did, uh, thanks for the raid. I appreciate that. Uh, if you want to follow, if you want to watch more streamers, check out twitch.tv.com. Sorry, twitch.tv, not .com. <laughs> Twitch.tv.com.net.org. Uh, Twitch.tv.com/team/wildabandon. Um, because I was raided, I will definitely be sending. The people left here to someone else right after I end the stream. Uh, so stick around if you want uh, to be part of that. Otherwise, uh, you know, have a good evening. <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow evening. You have a good night.